Are we going to see the XCIE operative in action again? Fans are eagerly waiting for some answers, so let's find out if Taken 4 is going to happen anytime soon. After leaving a staggering trail of dead bodies in both France and Turkey, the destructive Mills family turns their focus in Taken 3 to the bright freeways of their native Los Angeles. In addition to a thrilling narrative and a good serving of R-rated violence, Liam Neeson's first Taken movie was a genuinely surprising thriller. It was expected that in the years that follow, Brian Mills, played by Liam Neeson, would become the center of a franchise created by writer and director Luke Besson. In the third installment of the franchise, Taken 3, which was released in 2014, Brian is accused of killing his ex-wife Lenore. How unlucky can one ex-CIA agent who can track down and kill people in a variety of ways possibly be? The third installment of the franchise takes a slight turn away from the events of Taken, where the main character kills the kidnappers of his daughter before dealing with the fallout in Taken 2. Brian Mills must confront a threat inside his own family this time, and there's no international jet setting involved. His ex-wife's new husband frames Brian because he kept seeing Lenore after promising not to. After Lenore is killed, Stuart manages to kidnap Brian's daughter Kim to leave the country with a staggering $12 million. Stuart is desperate to keep the money for himself. There is an attempt to bring the Taken franchise full circle as Brian must once again save his daughter from a kidnapper. Of course, this is a Liam Neeson film, so he saves the day and even kindly lets Stuart live to set an example for his daughter. And with that, Taken 3 completed the Taken trilogy. Action films aren't known for being critical favorites, their successes are typically found in, well, action scenes, which features explosions, firefights, and extreme brutality. Given the mixed reviews for the first Taken, which has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 58%, Taken 2 score of 21%, and Taken 3 score of 11%, it's obvious that the franchise should be put to rest at some point. Although it did well at the box office, neither fans nor critics thought highly of it. The law of diminishing returns, at least in terms of quality, caught up with the franchise, but it did make money, so is there a chance we'll see Taken 4 at some point? Not according to Liam. Is Taken 4 ever going to happen now that the third film has been out for 8 years? It's important to remember that Liam Neeson previously declared that the third movie would be the final one. All fans of this fast-paced action thriller are wondering about the release of Taken 4. However, as we're all aware, nothing in Hollywood is ever guaranteed, particularly when it comes to popular franchise movies. Following the third movie's box office success, a potential sequel is now something to think about. In its first week of release, Taken 3 brought in nearly $92 million, but it hasn't been released in as many international film markets. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Olivier Megaton, who directed the third installment, stated in an interview at the beginning of 2015 that he is already thinking about whether to axe the fourth installment of Hostage due to its commercial success. The fact that we're in 2022, the year that The Matrix 4, Top Gun Maverick, and Ghostbusters Afterlife are set to be released is the strongest argument for another Taken film. Even though Neeson and co. appear to have moved on from Taken, thanks to the entertainment industry's recent love of late in life, sequels, and reboots, another film in the series is still likely to be made. With three theatrical releases and two seasons of a television series already under its belt, the franchise has a wide range of characters and plots it could use to launch a reboot. Even if Neeson doesn't want to return, no matter how hard 20th Century Fox tries to convince us that Taken 3 is the final chapter, we can probably assume that Taken 4 is likely to occur. It has already grossed $91 million worldwide against $48 million, so don't count Brian Mills out just yet. As a result, if Taken 4 materializes, we must ask, Will Liam Neeson reprise his role as Brian Mills? Similar to the original Death Wish series starring Charles Bronson, there is a limit to how many times a family member can be abducted or killed before viewers lose interest. Neeson has apparently decided not to reprise his role as Brian Mills because he's actually aware of it. When asked about the possibility of Taken 4 happening, he said, No, there's not. There are only so many times your daughter can be taken. Actually, if we do have another, it will be. Please can you take my daughter? Jokes aside, Liam has a good point. I was always ready to face the consequences to protect my family. When Jason Statham retired from the transporter, Europa Corps took a similar approach with Ed Screen taking over for a loose reboot called The Transporter Refueled. In 2017, Taken was also made into a TV series similar to The Transporter. 
Brian Mills was portrayed by Clive Standen, and despite both being modern dramas, the show somewhat perplexingly serves as the character's origin story. The program explored Mills' time in the CIA and showed him seeking retribution for the death of his sister. Taken had positive initial reviews, but as the first season went on, those reviews progressively got worse. For season two, a new showrunner took over, acting as a semi-reboot, and removing the majority of the cast, only keeping Standen and co-star Jennifer Beals. Despite this new beginning, the series' ratings kept dropping, and after two seasons, it was cancelled. In addition, Neeson has stated that he intends to retire from action films. If a Taken reboot occurs rather than a fourth film, it's difficult to imagine Neeson reprising his role as Brian Mills. For Neeson's Brian Mills, Taken 3 could have concluded a satisfying three-film arc, but that didn't happen, making Taken 4's feel just as ambitious as, well, making Taken 3, which instead functioned more like just another sequel than the last chapter in a longer saga. On the other hand, there are undoubtedly moviegoers who would enjoy it if the franchise continued to follow the lead of the James Bond series and had its protagonist remain constant despite the ongoing changes in the world around him. If the filmmakers want to finish the trilogy, Taken 4 will need a compelling storyline. They can't show the same person being kidnapped over and over again. The 17-year-old daughter of Brian Mill was taken hostage in the opening scene of the film while she was on vacation in France. Where the first installment left off, the second one picked up. To exact revenge on Mill, the kidnapper's families kidnap Lenore, Mill's wife. Then Brian attempts to clear his name after his wife is murdered in the third and final installment. Nobody really cares about Taken 4's story, they just want to watch Liam Neeson play a superhero. Taken 3 essentially portrayed Neeson's ex-wife's husband's attempt to frame Neeson for her murder. There were numerous shootings, escapes, and way too much violence. Neeson ultimately saves the day. We need someone to be truly taken in Taken 4 though. Who will be the victim this time? Well, it's none other than Liam Neeson's grandkid. Neeson's daughter was expecting in Taken 3, and since she was the first to be kidnapped, it only makes sense that her kid might be the new target. Plus, Neeson already saved his daughter, but his grandchild? That would be a movie I'd watch. I imagine him saying, You've taken my grandchild, I'll find you and I'll kill you if you hurt that kid. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. With a gap in the franchise, perhaps Taken 4 will be the beginning of a new trilogy for Neeson, or perhaps he'll be just starting for one more in which Brian dies sacrificially for a kidnapped victim. In any case, such films are in high demand. Just take a look at the John Wick movies starring Keanu Reeves. See you in the next video. Okay.